Today in our 2012 GMC Savannah van, we'll be having a look at and installing the Kirk Class 4 trailer hitch receiver, part number 14090. All right, here's what our hitch looks like installed. As you can see, it sits up nice and tight up against our back bumper here, and yet our hitch still sits back recessed a little bit from the bumper. So when we're loading cargo in the back of our van, we don't have to worry about running our shin into it. On the bottom of our receiver and on the frame of it, we have this angular plate that's welded on that gives us our safety chain loop attachment points. It's a nice solid construction there. Now at the end of our receiver here, we have this nice welded on collar to help give it some added strength and give it a nice finished appearance. On the side of our receiver, we have our industry standard half inch diameter hitch pinhole to secure any hitch mounted accessories that we may have. This hitch features a 10,000 pound max gross trailer weight rating and a 1,000 pound max gross tongue weight rating. It does support the use of weight distribution with a 12,000 pound max gross trailer weight rating and a 1,200 pound max gross tongue weight rating. You'll want to consult with the owner's manual of your GMC Savannah and not exceed the capabilities of the van or the hitch itself. In our case, we have it on a work van, but if you have a passenger van, this would be great for using your bike racks, towing a trailer. It doesn't matter what you're going to use it for. It'll get the job done for you perfectly. Now for a few measurements to better assist you in choosing any hitch mounted accessory you may need, such as a ball mount, bike rack, or a cargo carrier, you're looking about 17 and a half inches from the ground to the top of the receiver opening, and about four inches from the center of the pinhole to the rearmost part of the back bumper. Now that we've gone over some features, we'll show you how to get the hitch installed. Now to begin our installation, we're gonna point out our attachment points on our frame. Towards the rear of our frame on both sides, we have two holes here. We'll be utilizing both of those. Further up, there's two more holes here. We'll be utilizing the one closest to the rear. It's the exact same on both sides. Now to install our hardware, we have a block and a carriage bolt. Stick it in like that and come in through the holes in our frame. It's the exact same on the other side. Now with an extra set of hands, we'll raise our hitch on up into our hardware and secure it with the flange nuts. Now we use the three quarter inch socket and tighten up our hardware. And right, now we'll torque all of our hardware to the amount specified in the instructions. That completes our look at and installation of the Kirk Class 4 trailer hitch receiver, part number 14090 on our 2012 GMC Savannah. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.